So, if you remember a while back, I talked about how Destiny was in a bit of a drama with Mr. Girl. If you don't remember Mr. Girl, he's the guy who got famous off of praising cuties. And because of that, he, you know, obviously was shunned by 99.9% .9 of the internet. But Destiny decided to give him a chance and let him, you know, come onto his platform, talk about his, you know, opinions, things of that nature. Basically, you know, throwing in a life jacket. And in return of all that generosity, Mr. Girl decided that he wanted to make a 100,000 word expose. Now, I'm not going to read all of it to you. I'm pretty sure that you can figure it out from the video link that I am not reading 100,000 words. I am going to hit on two main points. I haven't read the entire thing because it's 100,000 words. And that rivals like a book. For some comparison, Fellowship of the Ring, the first book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, is 187,000 words. So, just just keep that in mind. It's, it's very, very hefty. But I feel like the arguments that I did come across weren't very strong. Uh, so, first off, I'm going to read Max's or Mr. Girl's introduction to the article which is later on in the article i don't know why he put his you know oh here's who i am here's what i do in so late in the article but it is what it is let's read it i'm a streamer rapper video essayist and occasional writer i've made provocative content all my life but most recently i'm known for projects such as the mr girl real doll review a disturbing and pornographic personal documentary about how a sex doll affected my relationship with my girlfriend, Shaylin. The gender narrative, a nonpartisan video essay about how we talk about gender, and my cuties review. Infamous because I said that the twerking 11 year olds in the film were hot. Jesus. That last project inspired thousands of white supremacists to send me death threats, but I can say without hesitation that the harassment I've received from Destiny's community has been worse. So, I, all of those people sending you death threats, which obviously is wrong, weren't just white supremacists. There were a lot of people on the internet mad at you, man. Like, that was, it feels like it was a long, long time ago. And, but it wasn't. It was, like, maybe three or four years. And he, it, it, there were a lot, of a lot of people mad, okay? Not just, you know, some random white supremacists. There were a lot of people who were not happy with how you approached watching the movie. I don't know why you watched the movie in the first place. I was like in that age range when it happened. I didn't even want to watch the movie. I accidentally saw like 10 seconds of a trailer and it, it's just bad. Okay. Even I knew it at that time that it wasn't a good idea for stuff like this to be, you know, out and about. It's just not good. But we're not focusing on that because that's not the focus of this article. What is the focus of the article is how bad the harassment has been from Destiny's community. And while I'm sure that there have been some people from Destiny's community that haven't been that nice to him, that have probably called him a pedo, things of that nature, I doubt strongly that it has been a majority of people. That's just what I see. I doubt that thousands of Destiny's community, and for it to be markably worse, it would have to be tens of thousands, which means that it would be a lot more noticeable, other than like people calling you like Two-Face for turning on Destiny the way that you did. Unless you want to count that as harassment, then you might have a little bit of an argument, which I mean, that that would mean that this, what I'm doing right now, could count as harassment in your eyes, which I'm not harassing you, I doubt you'll even see this. But anyway, let's continue. Unequal sexual relationships. In the last decade, Destiny has formed dozens of sexual relationships with small streamers who benefit enormously from their associations with him, especially when they appear on his stream. Frequently, these are women who suffer from mental health issues and have experienced suicidal ideations or have even been hospitalized for suicide attempts. In 2020, Destiny himself explained why using a platform for sex with smaller streamers is unethical, saying, Let's say I have a podcast, I got 30,000 viewers, let's say there's a girl that messages me, we talked a bit, she really wants to be on. I'm like, yeah, cool. Like, you really want to come on my podcast, blah blah blah. I could probably start sexing her, and she'll probably give in and send me nudes because she doesn't want to lose that opportunity. 
She might not actually want to. She might not be into that really at all, but if I start propositioning her, and she says no to me, she might worry like, uh, if I say no to this guy, I'm not really going to make it on that. Yeah, I think it is wrong, yeah. I don't think that you should. Nobody can ever know if you're really that kind of person. That's why it's a very hazy area where you can't really consent in that situation because you don't know if this guy's going to mess you over if you say yes or no to them. They have that big of a position of power over you. So this is probably the best example of why this should be in a video because for all I know, he just didn't didn't say that. Like, there's no link to it. There's so many more links throughout the article, but there's no link to an archive post of him saying this in particular. So that's really odd to me. Also, you're a grown adult and you can make your own decisions. And if someone came out and was like, Destiny pressured me into doing X, Y, and Z that I didn't want to do, they could probably get a good amount of notoriety just off of saying that. So there is like a toss up here. I can see what this quote that's possibly from Destiny could mean and be like, yeah, sometimes there is a power about because obviously there will be some form if you get into a relationship like that. But at the same time, how much should that power balance really be accounted for is what I really want to ask. All in all, I find this Mr. Girl article to be pretty ridiculous. It's not very well written. I, I'm surprised people have actually read all the way through it because I got like maybe a tenth of the way through and I was like, I can make a video about this, but it, I, this article as a whole is not very well written. And for you to take, what was it, like months on months? I think I made my first Mr. Mr. Girl video in like November. For you to take that long and to come out with a product this shoddy is just it reflects poorly, even more poorly than his past actions have reflected on him, which is pretty impressive, the fact that he was able to pull that one off. But other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for showing love on the second channel that's been doing really good recently. I'll be dropping a Hunger Games video on Friday, and next week will probably be a Super Mario movie video, depending on how much I like the movie. Outside of that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just look, drop your thoughts on Mr. Girl in the comments. And I'm out. Bye.